everything at life is 50-50. Either it happens or it doesn't. The great knowledge and wisdom of existence itself. How's it going, boys? And 3.5 better percent. Today, on Standard, we are playing Gruul. And it's obviously dinosaurs. Say what you will, there's not really anything else to do with Gruul. But one thing is clear. Etali turn 4 never gets old now, does it? And dinosaurs are ridiculously powerful. Admittedly, wizards kind of stealth nerf them with their draws and whatnot. But, but, still ridiculously powerful on average. They got removal, they have ramp, they have early game, they have unreasonably overpowered mid game, if we're being completely honest. And they have the most ridiculous fight rigging combo ever. And then they have this thing, Quatley's Raptor, which is blatantly busted, as we all know. No? And, well, uh, card draw. In creature form with first strike and flying and more generation stuff. Yeah, how did this get past any kind of testing? I'm not sure, but it is what it is. And haste. Because, I mean, why not at this point, right? Why not, wizards? In any case, that's dinosaurs. You know them, I know them, everyone knows them. 24 lanes to be specific, 3.3 average mana cost. And that being said, without any further ado, let's just get a crack in and see what happens. Such a great hand, El Mulligan. But I'm pretty sure we're gonna win this one, no matter what honestly happens. And you know why I'm confident? Because before starting recording, I played a little bit of this. And I lost five games in a row every single time I was either laying flooded or laying stud. And then wizards asked me, Did you have fun? Why, yes, wizards, thank you. I obviously had fun. Like, who wouldn't? Who, who wouldn't? And then wizards just gave me a free win after that. And then they instantaneously asked me again, Did you have fun? Yes, wizards, I won a, a game. I, I, I had the best time in my life. It is what it is. Okay? And, I, I mean, that's absolutely hilarious. Can we even win against this guy? He has an Insidious Roots turn 1. That's kind of like super big and bad against us. Well, super big and strong against us. I mean, I can actually do some of this, so I guess it's as good as it gets. Oh, but in any case, boyos... Oh, I almost misclicked. Ah, this is gonna be enough. In any case, boys... Man, remember when dinosaurs first came out in this standard rotation? Oh man, what? Uh, seriously, how am I supposed? Dead. Oh, he doesn't even attack. That is kind of hilarious, honestly. Well, let's get the maximum value in that case by just playing everything, I guess. Okay, so boys, boys, boys. Okay, listen, <laughs> listen, because th th this is good. Remember when dinosaurs first came out in standard rotation? Yeah, they were monsters. The best deck no matter what happens, hands down. No questions asked, pure, un unfathomed dominance. No questions, nothing. It it was absolute insanity. The, per the most, seriously, you just gave him four insidious roots and literally the first 20, uh, 20 cards. I feel kind of, uh, you know, not great about that, but that's fine. Because it looks like we're winning no matter what, because uh, we have flying. <laughs> ah, flying. Literally the biggest problem Insidious Roots has, isn't it? But anyway. Man. Man. 90% win rate dinosaurs. You could have been no matter how stupid or whatever. 90% win rate. Off the top, easy, no questions asked. As long as you did not play against another dinosaur player, you were absolutely dead. You would smash anyone, because the combos are just too good. The aggro, the blockers, the ramp, the everything. It's just too good, okay? The only legit counter to this is pretty much Poker God. Farewell, honestly. You know, it, it, it's just farewell. Everyone knows it's just farewell. So, yeah, it, it was absolutely without question amazing. And then Wizards nerfed it into the ground with stealth nerfs. Bad, bad hands, bad things, perf uh, opponents always know exactly how to deal with this and that. It kind of turned into an absolute disaster area, didn't it? But, I mean, that was all good in the hood at the end of the day, right? Oh, sh 
gonna do it like this so he doesn't even gain that little bit of life. I think we win anyway because uh, he can't do anything with flying, which is hilarious. Oh man, he's still uh, he's still pumping hot. This guy is definitely a pumper. Wow, interesting. But yeah, and that leads me. Well, let me finish the thought. Currently, if you want to play dinosaurs, you can close your eyes and play 10 games and you're going to have a uh, 50% win rate no matter what. It's just ridiculous. They still nerf the living hell out of this. And, well, it's not honestly even funny how hard they did it. But then, what, what is this? Again, giving someone this much insidious roots off the top, maybe not the, you know, most gamer of moves uh, wizards. But I think I've been instantaneously because Skull Sport Nexus and balance and all things. But that's not actually the point that I'm trying to make here. You know what's the point I'm trying? Do we just win by attacking with everything also at this point? Because it kind of looks like it, doesn't it? Um. Nope, nope, nope. That's that's the, that's the wrong land. Uh, let's do it like this. Okay. Do I even use the removal part of this? I don't know. In any case, we attack with everything. We must win. Oh no! Oh, I can't actually pay this. But I can pay. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. A YOLO 420. If we don't win this, it is what it is, boys. But we're definitely winning this. I'm pretty sure this is exactly enough to kill him anyway. <laughs> but man, that's... Th this is not the point that I'm trying... Yeah, I'm gonna attack with everything. Oh no, he has life... Yeah, that doesn't matter. It's still too much. <laughs> ah, just being redonkulous. That's what dinosaurs do. This should, by the way, be every game with dinosaurs because the combos are just too many and they're too consistent. Um, sure, you can do that, but the effect still procs. I mean, he tried really hard, boys. He tried really, really hard. But at the end of the day, I play dinosaurs. And I didn't get a uh, absolutely remarkably bad hand, so it is what it is. But that's not the point of this. The point of this is actually a comment that someone left on a reanimator deck. And my god, was that the stupidest comment I have ever read in my entire life, okay? And I'm gonna finish it after this guy uh, crumbles to pieces because of reasons. Zero HP, exactly. Nice. Three times in a row, wizards just asked me the classic age-old question: "Do you have fun?" Wow, this is this this is a new low even for wizards. Honestly, they're they're trying to micromanage every player now. What <laughs> what's happening exactly here? But anyway, let me tell you about uh, the story of the dumbest comment I have ever read in my life. Oh yes, someone commented on my reanimator deck. This looks bad. If I play this, I will probably win only one of ten games. To my reanimate, you can say that about anything and everything you want, baby girl, okay? And that's fine. But not about my reanimator decks. And in general, this person, unironically, full heartedly, autistically blissfully, stated that reanimation is essentially bad. Are you kidding me? Reanimation is the most consistent, perfect deck in Historic by a mile, a landslide. It's not even close. Uh, I had a feeling he's gonna drop Glissa. Well, that's kinda bad, but Skull Sport Nexus makes everything good. <laughs> it is what it is, because uh, now I can just attack anyway and uh, kinda do a lot of damage. Wait, do I actually... Well, I can attack with this. Wait, I can attack with both of them. Yeah, this is fine. In any case, he's gonna block. I may actually double dino block if I feel like it. Who honestly knows, right? Could have actually kept that for a tally because... Maybe that was stupid. But in any case, back to the heinous acts of someone calling reanimation bad. Okay, listen. In historic... There's only one thing more powerful than reanimation, and that is going first. Going first is unironically the absolute pinnacle of power when it comes to reanimation. <laughs> as stupid as 
uh, as stupid as that may sound. It doesn't sound even stupid, honestly. It's just facts at this point. Anyway, because going first means that you have like an 80% win chance in Historic. It's ridiculous at the end of the day. But, 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 but. Do you think he's going to bat us? No, he's going to weak, weak side gliss us. The animation is without question the absolute pinnacle, unbesmirched pinnacle of power inconsistency in Historic. And there are three main reasons why that is uh, cute, I guess, but at the end of the day, you're so, you're, you're so over, my, my sweet dear summer child, look at this. Bam. Suddenly, big things. In any case, yeah, he, he's completely shwasted. <laughs> Funny. Funny. But again, 50% win rate, boys. You literally cannot escape it while playing dinosaurs. Just, just live your best life, girl, as they say. In any case, let me finish that, like, next, ne next match. They just asked me for the fourth time in a row just now that I have fun. And now I get this as nope. I'm gonna keep it. It's perfect. <laughs> I don't care, guys. I literally could not care less. Because we do kind of actually have a decent opener. And if we get a third land, it's kind of over. Well, doesn't... Well, we need to first get the second land. So, uh, you know, it is what it is. Mm, no second land. But, you know, at least we dropped something. Ooh, Abba. In any case, in any case, let me explain the three fundamental princip uh, principles of making a deck consistent and good. First of uh, how to make a deck consistent and good. First of all, you have cards that have extreme value because they're your combo pieces, they're your win pieces, they're the whatever, right? You need to have four copies of them no matter what the situation or, you know, anything. You're just gonna always have four copies of them, no matter what. No questions, always. And the, uh, and the second part, uh, and that's number one, I guess. Uh, number two is even simpler. You find the closest card that does the same thing as your win conditions and add up on them. Because the more you have the same card that wins you the game, the more consistently you draw it. Do you, do you, see, do you see what I'm putting down? Are you picking it up? Okay. And the, f uh, and the third part is, you need to have a lot of draw, because the more you draw, the more consistently you draw into things that you want. And this, this is ridiculous, wizards, please stop. Please stop, this is, this is, this is annoying. Are you gonna seriously micromanage everything about the game now? This is gonna just turn out even worse than anything before. But, yeah. And, guess what? Reanimation literally does all of these three things perfectly without excuse, without question. Okay? That is the power of reanimation. Because reanimation in historic is just a bunch of one costs that draw cards and discard cards, two costs that do the same exact thing, and, well, oh my lord, does this. Uh, uh, there's a reason this game's failing. And it's it's great, boys. It's it's great. It's great. It's 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 great. I mean, it's it's great. It's 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 it's, it's amazing. Even in any case, in any case, in any case, okay. In any case, like this matters. I'm honestly still more pissed about the fact that what uh, what they did to to the three body problem off topic off topic i'm still more pissed about what they did the three uh, the three body problem netflix series than uh than this the netflix series three body problem is just a fucking clown fiesta of diversity hires the story doesn't make sense nothing they do at any point i'm not even gonna I'm, I'm, I'm not even gonna stop because it's ridiculous it's just sad it's the saddest thing anyone has ever seen in their lives okay it's Holy! I watched the original Chinese version of it. It was so good. Characters made sense. A tap land, are you kidding me, wizards? <laughs> ah, what a time to be a time. Anyway, yeah, uh, I'm gonna quit ranting. But yeah, uh, to, to continue my rant before I went into the other rant, because honestly, I'm kind of only thinking about how disgustingly pitiful the three-body problem series on Netflix is. 
Um, let, let me get, go back on, you know, what, why the animation is good. Because it just constantly draws cards. And most of its, uh, most of any re, uh, historic reanimator is just filled with more cards that draw more cards. It is extremely easy by turn 3 in historic reanimation to have drawn uh, roughly one third, of your, uh, one third of your deck. Which means you have a huge chance of actually getting your combo that just, you know, wins on, uh, you know, uh, turn 4. And someone, unironically, said that reanimation is bad. I mean, I have seen stupid people, but if you unironically think that uh, reanimation in historic is bad, you, you you need some help. I don't know what kind of divine intervention you're looking for at this point, but you definitely need some divine intervention because there's not a lot of hope for your dumbassity. In any case, uh, we lose. Uh, if wizards asked me for the fifth time in a row, did I have fun? I'm gonna flip out, okay? I I'm ap actually gonna flip out if they ask me for the fifth, uh, for the fourth time. No, is it four fifth time? Fifth time in a row. So you know, I'll report back. Amazing news, everyone! They did not ask me, did I have fun? That not a big deal, honestly, but it is what it is. Okay, so. Perfect opener red. Ooh, ooh yay. Uh, this seems good. But we also have a, a technically a perfect opener. Oh, wow. Double perfect opener red. Nothing? Wait, I have seen this exact scenario play out. Oh, I can't actually play anything, huh? Well, the hammerhead's gonna be good, hopefully. Okay, I have actually seen this exact scenario play out uh, five-ish games ago. Even, even the Foundry. Okay, the Phoenix Chick is new. Okay, right. Uh, previously, it was Squiggums on turn three, but I guess it's as good as it's gonna honestly get, right? In any case, we good game. Shut up! Man! Why don't you take magic? I mean, there's. I, I think there's reasons why I don't take it seriously. You know, it's, it is what it is. Okay. Do you think he's gonna have? Oh wow! At least wait, wait no. At least he completely. <laughs> wait, what do you mean you're gonna do that? That's kind of weak sauce, my dude. I actually have a shot at winning now, considering you just completely weaked yourself out of existence. And there we go. Even an Atali. Boom. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna destroy the Phoenix chick, because why not? Why did you not attack? Weakness of the flesh. Wizards is gonna be pissed, because it's kind of clear that this guy was supposed to win. Uh, but instead now, he's just, uh, you know, kind of absolutely eating dirt. Yeah, they're gonna be pretty pissed about this, I have a feeling. Um, I guess I just attack with one. If I get a... Oh, he just concedes. Amazing. Okay, now I have a feeling we're probably gonna lose. Even though we have a decent hand to deal with whatever this is. Poison, I'm assuming? Well, what else could it on... Wait, no. Is this poison? Hmm, I'm confused. You typically don't play blue poison. Okay. That just happened. Well, in any case, we are literally on 50% win rate now, so... Ha 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 ha! Yay. Oh! Poison Duelist! What a time to be a duelist. In any case... Um, do I... Yes! Yes, I guess I do drop you. It's not that I can do anything else, honestly. I do have a little bit more... It's gonna be hard winning this one, but I, I mean, it's it's okay, boys. It's, it's okay. Aha! Okay, so at least this does make, uh, sense, right? Now, he's not gonna gain anything from that, but at the end of the day, that was kind of weak. Ooh! I can't say no to that now, can I? Because getting rid of the Wrath Priest is, like, a uh, number one pride. <laughs> Weakness of the flesh deceives you. I mean, if you can't deal with that, I'd probably just win. Ooh. 
Ooh. Also, there's a good chance we cast a tal. Hello. Are you giving up on life? That's cute. Oh, wait, no. He's gonna do the thing. I mean, sure, if you feel like it. Yeah, that still kind of doesn't do... Oh, wow, that's that's sad. Do you think he has a count? He doesn't! Amazing! Yay! I am the greatest. In any case, uh, yeah, I'm kind of just taking the piss on this because it's hilarious, honestly. Wait! Oh! Oh, that's how you can use that card also. I completely forgot. Well, now that I care about this... Uh-huh. Wait, does this actually work in my favor? Kinda. Because I'm gonna get the green land, so... Uh, I, gu I guess this is good? <laughs> this is hilarious. Well, actually, no, this is relatively giga-sad, but... I mean, it is slightly hilarious, at least. So, yeah, let's see how it goes. And he just concedes. Nice. Now we're actually six wins and five losses in, so everything looks great. Well, in any case, let's keep on trucking, I guess. Do I drop this? Huh. Hmm. I could, because I don't want him to remove this, and then it's Quatley's Raptor, which is actually a strong play. And if he doesn't, we just save ourselves a turn. But if you want to be smart, not an absolute idiot like me, you will do the smart thing, aka, is this forge actually? You always want to drop fight ringing first and then the ha uh, the hammer head, because that's that's the smart way to do things, okay? Ooh, that is, that is absolutely ginumbus, honestly. Okay, let's see if our enemy can deal with the uh, plays of the ginumbuses, because this is kind of like <laughs> destructively bad for him. Let's see how it goes. Because remember, if there's a if there's this bad boy on the field, yeah, if you don't remove him instantly, he just creates too much value and you insta lose. The oh, it is Forge. Because what else would you play like this? Oh wow, this is a super old deck. Completely out of fa- Ooh, that's good art. But completely out of fashion. So yeah, this guy's uh, chances at vic victory are not exactly great. Huh, double lands. Oh my lord, double lands, but it's amazing. Okay, uh, Itali? No, just to concede. I'm, I'm okay. And a reasonably good hand, again. Okay, I'm happy with this. Oh man. Let's see, red, red. Only red takes this long to figure out a turn. Oh, also, by the way, we should technically, as always, I have forgotten to do one thing. But I don't think it honestly matters, so that's why I never do it. Caves. Caves. So dinosaurs cannot get counterspelled. It would be smart. But it also would be something that you don't expect from someone like me. So, you know, it is what it is, boys. It is what it is. In any case, he can deal with the what? Huh? What is this? Actually, I know what this is, but... Really? That's gonna be your uh, Grand Omega play. Sure. I don't think it's too powerful, honestly, but, you know, if, if, if you feel like it. Yeah, go for it, my dude, go for it. it it's it's a free arena. No, it's actually not, but you get the point. In any case, untap three lanes you control. Kind of a big effect, but it's really impossible to use most of the times. So it's a bad effect. Ah, good times. Oh, okay, now that is a little bit different, though. Now that is a little bit different. That's a big one, honestly, also. Huh. I can just cast the Tali, or I could double cast the Tali with this. So I'm gonna go for the... Did, did not get it. Well, that's severely disappointing, to say the least. Itali? Where are my Italis? I demand Italis. What do you mean, wizards? I am the Italis. You must procure me Italis. So I'm gonna do it like this because honestly, there's no point in actually procking this. We have the Mon for Itali exactly. If he spends his whole turn um, vratting this, that's fine by me, boy. That That's absolutely fine by me. 
So yeah. He could actually leave it out. He has black, but how honestly effective do you think that's gonna be? He doesn't even brat. Or he has a land, and then he brats. He can. But will he? And he does! I am I am not happy noises. Did he actually cover up? Oh, uh, yes, he did. He's probably getting... Oh, he got rid of this. I mean, that's smart, but he can't get rid of uh, this one. Because it's under fight rigging. And now we just play Italian, hope that he doesn't do it again. <laughs> ah, this, this, this is just... Oh, what is this? Um, sure, whatever, you... You probably don't matter. For second time I encountered this card, but don't you worry your sweet little head, boys. I don't think it matters. So it probably honestly doesn't. Unless he brats again. In which case, this matters a lot, and I am disappointed. Could add actually some man lands if I'm being completely honest here, but I, I, I feel it's gonna be good, okay? I feel it's gonna be good. I feel this is gonna be a huge win for society, for us, for the people, by the people, or not, depends. Everything at life is 50-50, either it happens or it doesn't. The great knowledge and wisdom of existence itself, also disgusting. He's gonna gain five life, really? Can I transform though? Um, doesn't seem like it. Oh, no, it does seem like it. Well, in that case... Color me surprised, baby girl. Nice. Okay, that's... Now that's a play. Now, now that, now that is the play of the century. I'm gonna attack you with this. I'm gonna not attack you with that, because that would be extremely dumb. I'm gonna attack you with this, and this, because why not... And this! Because you probably proliferate, don't you? Or not, I guess. I don't know, pick one. Also, decent art, honestly. Which is rare for sin. This has poison! What do you mean? Huh. Absolutely poker god. Also, we're one win away from ranking up now. See how the tables turn really fast when you don't know there's a table? Yeah, great stuff, great stuff. In any case, Skullspawn Nexus probably has to go. Oh, good old Skullsport. Why haven't you shown up all this time, by the way? Well, except that one time, I guess. Pip. 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 Um. Pip. 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 Oh, by the way, does anyone is anyone doing the clue thing that you're, you know, Wizard is giving you an email with clues or something like that? I don't know. Wizards. I am pretty sure Wizards took me off of the. Oh, I discarded the wrong thing. Well, no one cares. I'm pretty sure e Wizard just took me off of the email listing for, you know, anything. <laughs> I didn't receive any. I didn't receive anything, okay? I have not been... I, I have not been invited to see any sets. I have not received any emails about how my performance in the arena was. I have not... <laughs> it's just... Oh, man, come on, Wizards. Don't do me dirty like that. What do you mean? I mean, it's kind of hilarious, but you know. Ooh. Reanim- No, I'm- I, uh, Well, actually, yes, I did mean reanimation, honestly, here, but you know. Huh. Interesting. If he doesn't remove anything, it's gonna be a bony boy. Boom. It's gonna be good. Because he's a big one, right there. Actually, you can't tell if he's big or not. I- I think this is relatively a small dino. Huh. I don't know what that does. Oh, it did something. Okay, uh, cool. You you did a thing. Congratulations. Now I'll exile your graveyard because I hate you on a personal level. Also, that's a seriously bad card. <laughs> okay, so let's hope everything he has is seriously bad and sad. If we get a Skull Spot Nexus, we also probably just win. Oh no, he's looking at him. No, don't look at him. No! Eh? Oh, a 
is this card? Man, it's been a while since I have seen this. Well, I'm the only one who has ever played this as much as I am aware, so, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> In any case, we're about to destroy things because the advantage we just got because of reasons is uh, ridiculous. Um, yeah, that's, that's a pretty good turn right there, honestly. Itali, very cute, very cute. Okay, let's do it like this. I sadly can't do anything else, but you know, it be how it uh, how it is. Let's see if he block he blocks, boys. Oh, how they never learn! Oh, how they never learn! It is what it is. Well, the other guy didn't even know poison counters exist on the Atali uh, primal sickness, but you know. Oh, this is cute. Wait, we have seen this, but I think we saw a mono blue version of this. I mean, it is pretty hilariously cute, though. You you have you have to give it props on that, honestly. Okay, so I'm gonna do all of this, and yeah, I'm just gonna attack, I guess, again. <laughs> um, yeah, he does nothing this time. Yeah, figures he finally learned his lesson. But then again, you do take ten damage, uh, G. So good luck. Are we gonna win? Because then we rank up, and ranking up is pretty good. Is this gonna be the classic lose 5, win 10, lose 5 later? <laughs> it could be. It honestly could be. Oh, that is hilarious. That is actually hilarious. Ooh, a shrill. He just threw a shrill like that away? I feel like that probably should be one of the things you're, like, really looking forward to just not yeet and delete out of your system, Chief. Okay, he took the Atali. Expected things are expected. So, uh, what now? You still need to block the bony boy. Hmm. Choices... Oh, right! You, you, you do have that, don't you? Okay. I mean, I can always just get another Atali. Not a big deal, even. Hmm, didn't get another Atali. Did get this, though. And I will actually use it in this case. Okay, Atali. There we go. It, it's it's the absolute Omega, uh, omega play, okay? <laughs> uh, and let's do this. And let's destroy this because I can. Because I'm just that type of dude, okay? It, it, it's, ju it's just absolutely, uh, magnificently beautiful. It is what it is. Again, dinosaurs, ridiculous. Ridiculously overpowered by every account humanly possible. What did we get? A conceit. That's what we get. 10 out of 10. 